I am here today as a parent, a grandparent, and a great-grandparent, having children, grandchildren, and great-grands. And I'm very concerned about the direction being taken by many political leaders as respects the family and the children, whereby parental rights is being shoved aside and the children's rights are being trampled upon. So I'm here to say, it is a God-given right of every parent to bring up their children in a way that is moral, respectable and responsible. It's not the responsibility of government or any dictatorial regime to decide over parental objections what is best for the children. And that is what is happening today. In today's governments, we are seeing measures being taken to sidestep parental authority and the introduction or the aiding and the betting of very immoral education that is very damagingly dangerous to the future wellness of our youth. Therefore, we are gathered here today to say this. We are not against laws and mandates that is in line with godly standards. But when the line is crossed, where morality is cast aside for the culture of convenience and popularity, as it's being seen today, we do not and will not accept this callous, disgusting, disrespectful attitudes towards parental, God-given oversight and authority. We will, in no manner, shape, or form, accept the immoral sexual indoctrination of our children. We outrightly reject any form of transgender education in the schools. We abhor any and all forms of gender confusion, mutilation, orientation, which goes under the banner of gender fluidity. We are demanding that our parental rights be respected and our human dignity must not be trampled upon. We will in no way accept any foreign entity, whether it is the demagogues of the WEF, the CDC, the WHO, or the UN, or any powerful foreign head of state, to dictate to us, we the sovereign people of the Caribbean region, how to raise our children, or to introduce an education curriculum without being in direct consultation with the parents or a selected bona fide representative by the parents. I want to make this categor categorically clear to all the tyrannical political leaders of the world. Our children does not belong to you. Let me repeat that. Our children do not belong to you. We will not sit idle and allow the molestation of or any other form of child abuse by anyone, no matter who they may be. We will not accept any changes in gender or of your illicitness or pronounce the change or identity. Whatever you want to do in your life, you do it. But please, do not try to ram it down our throats by way of draconian mandates or by means of intimidating tactics. We want to say to you today, very clearly, leave our children alone. Left our children alone. Let me repeat that. Left our children alone. They do not belong to you. They belong to us. In closing, let me line out our objective. Number one, 
we will not accept any measures or mandates that will cause us to violate any righteous principles. Number two, we will not accept the sexual indoctrination or mutilation of our children. Number three, we will not accept any grooming or transgender education for our children. Number four, we will not accept any pornographic material being introduced into this educational system. Number five, we, the sovereign people of the Caribbean, outrightly will not accept any foreign entity, whether it's the World Economic Forum, the WHO, the CDC, the UN, or any other powerful head of state to dictate to us how we raise our children, to dictate what education is given to our children without parental consent. It must not be snuck in behind our backs as you did before and you keep wanting to do. The teachers do not and must not be given full authority of oversight over our children and the educational system because the educational system have now been infiltrated by persons of ill reproof, calling themselves more attractive persons, which in effect is a clever, disgusting disguise and is an acronym for pedophilia. That's what it is. Number six. It is us, the parents and grandparents, who have the sole God-given right to decide what is best for our children, and we will never give up our authority and our rights. We want to make that clear. Number seven, finally, we will not accept any changes to our identity or of the identity of our children which was given by God when he created man and woman. We will, we will accept no pronouns to be added. Our mission of this rally is for the protection of our children, the preservation of family dignity, the preservation of godly morality with no exceptions. So I hope you make that quite clear. We are a respectable and peaceful people who are asking to respect our God-given parental rights, respect our rights to protect and raise our children in the way that we want them to be raised, and left the children alone. Left we children loan. I hope you get that clearly, and that's our mission. Good day, goodbye.